Arturo. Go, go test Arturo. How the doors are going to walk. As I said to Graham last night, I'll just smash through it. <laughs> Do you, Marie, take Paul to be your lawful wedded husband? 
Will you love, honour and respect Paul throughout the varying circumstances of your lives? Will you love him with your heart, your body and your mind? Will you do your utmost to understand his needs, his feelings and his wishes? And will you be there always for him? I will. If I could ask you to turn and face each other and join your hands together, please. Today on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other forever, you are holding the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years. These are the hands that will celebrate with you when you are happy and comfort you when you are sad. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you need it. As your hands are joined together now, may your hearts always be. And now to complete the legal act of binding you together in marriage, can I ask you to repeat your chosen marriage vows with Paul first. I take you to be my wife in life. I take you to be my wife in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I will trust you and honour you. I will trust you and honour you. I will laugh and cry with you. I will laugh and cry with you. <laughs> <laughs> I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through the best and the worst. Through the best and the worst. Through the difficult and the easy. Through the difficult and the easy. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. I give you my life to, to keep. These are my solemn vows. These are my solemn vows. <laughs> I take you, Paul. I take you, Paul. To be my partner in life. To be my partner in life. I will cherish our friendship. I will cherish our friendship. I will trust you and honour you. I will trust you and honour you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Whatever may come, I will always be there. Whatever may come, I will always be there. As I have given you my hand to hold. As I have given you my hand to hold. So I give you my life to keep. So I give you my life to keep. And now we come to the exchange of rings. These wedding rings are not only tokens of the love and respect that Paul and Marie have for each other. They are unbroken circles. They have no beginning and no end. And therefore represent a bond that is everlasting. These rings are an outward sign of the promises that you are making to each other today and a seal into the contract which you are both entering. Kyle, if we can have the rings now, please. Right. declaration after me placing the ring on Marie's finger. Marie, accept this ring. Marie, accept this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. I love you and I will make you happy. I love you and I will make you happy. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. I will be true to you. I will be true to you. In health, in sickness. In health, in sickness. In richness and in poverty. In richness and in poverty. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. <laughs> okay, Marie, if you'd like to take Paul's ring, would you like to place it on his finger and repeat after me? Today I marry the man I love. Today I marry the man I love. Paul, I give you this ring. Paul, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and marriage. As a symbol of my love and marriage. Please wear it always. Please wear it always. And when we are apart. And when we are apart. Look upon it and think of me. Look upon it and think of me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and Marie have declared before all of us that they will live together in marriage. 
in the traditional way that have symbolised it by joining hands, taking vows and by exchanging rings. Following the binding declaration which you have made before me and in the presence of your witnesses, I now have the pleasure of declaring that you, Paul, and you, Marie, are now husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. their love for each other and to signify their joining together in a special unity sand ceremony. Please note this empty glass. Glass itself is made from sand and the sands of time have come together, melting into one piece to make this vessel. The sands of time should remind us all of our eternal love and our mortality. Kyle, Daddy and Marie love you very much and want you to know that you are, and always will be, a very important part of their lives. Will you please pour the foundation sand into this glass container, along with your good wishes? That would mean so much to them. of sand and alternate the pouring of sand <coughs> into this joining vessel and united repeat after me. Who's going to go first? You are my love for eternity. I blend with you. I blend, I blend with, with you. you. My heart is like these grains of sand. Merging with yours. 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 I am yours. I am yours. You are mine. You are mine. We are together forever. We are together forever. Like the sand, like the sand, like the wind, like the wind, we are one. We are one. You just like to clear away there. Combined your sands today, your lives are now joined together as one family. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please stand and join with us in singing the Lewis Bridal song, which will be played by Shona Scott. <laughs> through the rest of your lives together. May I be the first to congratulate you both and wish you a long and happy marriage. Please turn to face your family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure in presenting to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. McKnight. Oh. 